Now at 11 o'clock, two children left home alone die in a raging apartment fire. Those kids only five years and five months old. Firefighters saying by the time they arrived at the scene in Pompano Beach, black smoke and heavy flames were pouring from the building. CBS 4's Carly Barnett is joining us now live from Pompano Beach with much more on what happened there today. Carly. Diane, just a very difficult and a sad scene to process today. Now, they're not out there anymore, but investigators were working well into the night. They were on this scene for just about 12 hours trying to figure out exactly what happened that led up to that fire in apartment 314 where two little girls did not make it out. We wanted to go in. Was, the smoke was so heavy. Outside the door, you could inhale it. wasn't even able to breathe or anything. Pompano Beach Fire Rescue responded around 930 this morning, arriving to flames pouring out of the window of this third floor apartment. Neighbors called 911, even tried to get inside to help, but the flames and smoke were too strong. We broke the windows with a fire extinguisher that's next to it on that same floor. When we broke it, the guy came in, broke that window. We. We, uh, we try to yell to see if there was any kids, nobody, no parents or anything. So we just basically let the fire keep going. Kenya Garcia is one of those people who lived in the complex. She says she used to watch the five-year-old girl who lived there and cannot imagine what the parents are going through. Just to think that it's burning, that my children could be there too. Since I have a small little girl as well, she was five years old when I met her and I also took care of her. The baby and the little girl lived there with their mother, 23-year-old Jocelyn Melendez, but her 15-year-old sister was watching them while she went to work. Investigators do not know if she was inside when the fire started. The girls were found dead in a bedroom. My heart goes out to the families that's affected by this in the community. I hope that this doesn't happen again. When Kim, who lives nearby, heard this happen to two children, she couldn't help but be affected. These children had a short-lived life, and it's unfortunate. Two young lives taken by tragedy and loved ones now waiting for answers. Now, thankfully, nobody else was hurt in this fire. Some other apartments did have some smoke and water damage. Pompano Beach fire inspectors and the state fire marshal's office are investigating what exactly caused this fire. Live in Pompano Beach, Carly Barnett, CBS 4 News. Carly, thanks. New information.